I want to give you a little snapshot about what we're doing and why we're doing it. What you see today and the men that are working on this project are people who are making an impact on our future, making the impact and the investment for their children. One of the things that we realize as corrections professionals that many people on the outside don't get is the bigger picture for us. My staff get it. That's why we're here today. And all these things that happen, it doesn't happen by itself. It happens from a community of not only those people that are inside, people on the, on the outside, the coordinators, and the staff that are here that believe in the human condition. And the human condition of incarceration and being in the human condition of being inside a system for a good many years, and what do we do with, with those folks who are incarcerated for all those years? And by the way, 95% of the people who are incarcerated in New York State prison system will go back home again. And what do we do with these folks? We have a number of people that come into our facility every month, several tours, mostly from colleges and universities. And I have people from West Point Military Academy coming in, some of the greatest minds, young minds, and I ask them all, so you're here, you see our system, you see the programs going on, what do you expect from me? What do you expect from our staff? And what they come to realize is that this human condition is about managing a bunch of broken pieces, giving them opportunities, coming up with a new realization of who they are as human beings, as men, because they're going to leave, they're going to go home. Many of them have come into the system as young children and have not had opportunities. Many of them have never had a new now. So our challenge to all the new inmates that come into our system, one of the things I tell them all, and they're not used to this. They're not used to, I don't think, our new perception of what our bigger picture is. First of all, I ask them what it is to be a man, and I challenge all the new inmates that come into this system to re-identify what it means to be a man, number one. Number two, I tell them, I know this, that you were not born to come to prison. And I know that your children are not destined to come here either. But only through your interaction with them will you change that course of conduct. I know that we have to redevelop this culture of coming up state for a lot of these young men who think it's a, a, a way to become a mentor in their own societies. This right to passage to come up state has got to end. And I know from the men that are here today that have put their, their pride to the side, that have shared their heart from the staff that work together that believe in this human condition, that want to change this cycle change this culture, not only on the outside, but on the inside, as more and more of these types of programs hit the heart and soul of the men who are here. And this, this change from having these mentors and these heroes who are gangbangers and, and uh, people that are committing crimes both inside and outside the facility, and those norms begin to change and we develop the new cool we develop the new, what is the be who is our mentor? It's that guy that went to college. It's that guy that has, for our, in our male facilities, it's that guy who has that college degree. That's the new cool. It's that guy who spoke at TEDx. It's that guy who wrote that song. These are the new cultures that we're beginning to develop here at Sing Sing. These are the new things that we're developing. So when their children come in to this facility, some 3,500 people a month that visit this maximum security prison come in and see the changes in these men because we support this change in culture. And the more men that are involved in these things inside our system, this culture begins this organic process. I use that because my friend Dan uses these terms all the time, organic process. And you have to understand that we, the people who are working here, we've come from different cultures along the way. This is 33 years in the making. You know, all these different jobs that I've personally had over the years. You know, at one point I was in New York City working in the five boroughs on an escape unit. You ever see that, that movie, uh, uh, Dog, what is his name, Dog the Bounty Hunter? Yeah, 
That was me for a while. But I found myself, as I'm bringing this guy back to the prison system after I caught him, talking to him like, hey, what, what are you doing in your life? Hey, what are you doing? You know, one minute I'm planning on kicking doors in and, and grabbing this guy, and my whole team's after him, and I'm the guy in the back seat with him. I'm saying, what are you doing with your life? You know, so I know that we all, all of us have opportunities in our lives to take a moment and decide whether we're going to have an impact, whether we're the inmate that's on the gallery that has decided that he's no longer going to do this. What is your new now? That's what we try to develop. What is our new now? Do we have a realization that men can change? I think we do. Do we have a realization that men are going to get out of prison and they're not going to come back? We're at 42% recidivism, which is just lowered. We just got some new numbers, so I think that's a fantastic thing. We're on the right track. But it's not there yet. We're not there yet. Do we believe in the human condition? Do we believe that men can come out of our system and be productive members of society and do things like TEDx? We sure do. We do believe that. And I wanted them to introduce themselves to you. Sean Pika, Executive Woo! Director, Hudson Lee. Yeah. 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 Associate Executive Director, the Osborne Associate. <laughs> Jeffrey Deskovic, Founder and Executive Director of the Jeffrey Deskovic Foundation for Justice. founder of Saving Our Society. Todd Young, alumni coordinator, Hudson Link for Higher Education. Thank you very much.